got a whole bunch of stuff going on with my piece. I have drums and I've created a right hand piano, left hand piano. I have an original bass line, which was just the long sustained roots of the chords. I did change that bass line and this bass now has some uh, roots in fifth with some rhythmic patterns. So I then added some pads and the pad is basically just the right hand of the piano and I've changed the octaves of it and chosen some long sustained notes. Uh, I've got my four measures right here and it's, uh, it's getting pretty nice. So uh, I'm gonna just uh, put this on so I can listen to it. Let's take a listen. So you want to make sure that you're not overloading and you're cramming these things. And don't, don't put your drums up like that really, really loud. Put your headphones up. Balance is everything. You want to make sure uh, you're not overloading. It's going to be difficult to tell here uh, in this. We don't have a master out we're looking at right now. So um, just, you know, use your ears to decide. Do you want more of this uh, here or left? You could decide to start moving um, some of your... Um, your, your bass line is up the middle. Maybe I'll put my pads on one side. Maybe I'll move some stuff around as far as automating and adding panning to this mix and moving my pads here. Uh, you could at automate all over time, um, but I would save that uh, for later. Um, so yeah, automation. And um, let's now add something uh, which has to do with our voiceover for this project. So if you go to uh, Schoology, uh, you will see in Schoology, uh, in the actual class itself, let's, let's go back here and find where it is. We're in the online learning assignments in Schoology. We're in this folder um, and we're looking at drum beat and chords, but in the file, um, you're gonna find there are two folders that are available. Not everything here is available to you yet. DJ Mike uh, Drops and DJ Schloss Boss. So what are in these folders? Let's take a look. So they are actual voiceovers. Uh, somebody went in the studio and they created um, some stuff for us. If you click on this, you can preview it. Rocking the hottest it. beat. Rocking the hottest beat. And if you decide that's something that you want to use, what you do is you click on it and it downloads. it. You'll see it in your file here or in your download folder, wherever your computer is downloading to. You want to download that. Um, you don't want to download a lot of them if you're using a Chromebook. You have limited space. So um, what I might do is uh, make them available to you in um, Google Drive also if you're having a problem. So there's DJ Mike Nice, and I'll go back to this folder here by clicking there. And there's also DJ Schloss Boss. So if I look here, let's take a look here. He's got a whole bunch of stuff that you can use. So I'm going to grab this. Take a look. One, two, three, Great. four. So I like that. I'm going to download it here, and there we go have it. So going back to our uh, Schoology project, you'll see I have this in here, uh, rocking the hottest beat. I'm going to drag it. Just click and hold and drag and drop. And there it is. And click and hold and drag and drop. And please do yourself a favor. Don't add it to the same track. Add it to a different track for every single one of these voiceovers that you include. And you have to use at least four of them. You must add it to a new track. So let's just solo this and hear what it sounds like in Soundtrap. Rocking the hottest beat. There you go. And then we have uh, this one. We're going to solo it here. You can hear. Two, three, four. Great. I'm going to show you now how you can edit these. And you can add some uh, effects. Digital signal processing. We talked about that earlier in the year. And these are the effects that you can use. Um, so. I want it to say one, two, three, four, and I want it to align with the click. So the metronome is off. I'm going to put it on, and let's take a listen. One, two, three, four. Well, that is way off because every single one of those clicks is going to be a beat. Click, click. So here's the click. One, two, three, four. And that's really where I need it. So I'm going to edit these. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to zoom in so I can get a little detail, just a little bit. Now, what I'm looking up in my grid up here are eighth notes. How do I know? I could check this little cog wheel here. Instead of using eighths, I'm going to go to the quarter note, and I'm going to let the lines help me. Well, that's where one should be. That's where two should be, but it's not there. I'm going to find a little space in here, and I'm going to edit, split the region. It's Command E. I'm going to split the region keep going and I'm going to split the region, Command E, 
right? It has to be highlighted, sorry, Command E. Click on the region again, move your cursor to somewhere between these wave files, right? Command E. Great. Um, now I'm going to move these over a little bit. Click and hold, just drag them. My rubber band selected. See this? Click outside. You make a square rubber band. It selects them all. That's rubber band selected. Move them over. Now this is where one should be. Where does one go? Well, it goes right here on the first beat. One. Well, that's, I got to move it over. I want to move it over. Well, you keep making this smaller and smaller and smaller and pulling it in and editing and like that. The best thing to do is do what professionals do. They never start music in measure one. They start music in measure two. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything here, I rubber band select, and I'm going to move everything over to measure two. Do that and remove this while I'm at it. Why do I do that? Because now I want to get this one, this one right here. Click and hold. Click and hold on it. I'm going to move it in. Now, it is now snapping to a grid. Well, what's the grid? The grid is the quarter note. Well, maybe what I'll do is I'll turn the grid off for temporarily. Turn it off. I'm going to get in here and I'm going to slide. I'm going to try and get to where I think that one should be. Now, don't forget to save your work. I'm not saving as often as I should, and I really should, every time I do something, save my work. So my metronome's on. I'm going to put that grid back on. And let's hear what it sounds like. Is that going to land exactly on one? One. Oops, try this, out of that, turn the, because I want to hear the clicks before. One. Not too bad. Let's, let me listen again. One. Okay, that's not bad. I might want to turn this off and just do it a little bit, move it a little to the right. I don't know, it's up to you. Save my work. Let's try it again. Back on. Here we go. One. That's not bad. Now, where is two going to go? Well, that's the first beat. Here's the second beat. I'm going to move it over. Oh, no. What happened? It just ruined my one. No, it didn't. You can, you can just do edit, undo, adjust region overlap. Edit, undo, modify region. Now, see, I just edit back. Don't forget, you, now where you save, I'm going to move this in. But I have to turn the, click, the uh, snap to grid off. I'm going to move Click and hold on the bottom left corner. Click and hold on the bottom right corner. I'm going to try and tighten this up so that I could see this. If I, if I don't put my cursor over it, you could see these where the sound wave gets bigger here. I'm going to try and get that 2 to start exactly where that 2 is. How do I know if I got it? Well, hit my save button just in case. Save your work. And now let's back it up and listen. 1, 2. Oops, I chose the wrong one, didn't I? <laughs> Silly me. Good. Turn that off. Move it over. Otherwise, good practice. Now, you see how I'm just going to move this over a little so I don't lose the one, but I'm going to get that two hopefully there. Put it on. Save my work. Let's take a listen. One, two. Excellent. Now, I'm going to keep going, right? First thing is, oops, turn off the snap to grid or make the snap to grid really, really tight. Put that in. Where's three? Where do I think three is going to be? Let's take a look closer. Now you can zoom in more. You can really begin to see the audio file. See that? Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Okay, let's see what I did. Let's see if that worked. Go back, scroll over. One, two, three. Okay, I could fuss with that a little bit, but you're getting the point. Zoom out a little bit and grab my four. Where'd it go? We'll get there in a second. And grab my four. Where is it? Four. There we go. Put my cursor where four goes. Grid. All right. And get four in there. Nice and tight. Snap to grid. Is that right? Nice and tight. Let's hear that, that sound. Don't forget to save. All right. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Much better. So I've got that going. All right, so here we go. One, two, three, four. That's how I can edit audio and move the audio where I want. 